Another Sierra Blue Hill Brow Freeze. NYX Lip and Snatch Brow Tint. Makeup Revolution Conceal and Defy Concealer. First, I'm gonna use this Privacy Color from Naked Cherry Palette. Make the line to cut the crease. Next, I'm gonna use this color right here. Blend it on the line. And then I go back to the first color that I start with. Blend it on top of that again. And then I'm gonna clean it with my slow water and Q-tip. And then I add concealer back on the blank spot that I just clean up. And then use this color right here to fill up the blank. Maybelline Sky High Mascara. To create a fox eye effect, I just cut my lash in half and I just leave the gap between my lash and eyelid and just leave it up. And you can see my eye shape, it changed completely. So while I wait for my glue to dry, I just lift my lash up with my finger like this so my lash stay up, not like falling down. All right, while the glue is dry completely, I'm gonna fill up the gap between my lid and lashes with NYX Epic Ink Liner in black, you know, just black eyeliner. So what you can see, you can see the gap between my lash and eyelid now, so it looks like you have fox eye. Maybelline Lasting Drama Elf Paula's Pretty Primer. I use quite a bit of mouth on here because my face are dry, but I want to create a matte look today. So I just prep my skin very, very really good before I go on with matte foundation. Loyal Infallible Pro Matte. Wet and Raw Photo Forget Concealer to correct my acne scar and dark spot. I also gonna use that on my under eye as well. Milani Conceal and Perfect Concealer. Maybelline Fit Me Concealer, Lamb Cram Liquid Lipstick, Makeup Revolution Banana Powder, Maybelline Lasting Drama, blend it. And then I use this color right here and smoke it. Marc Jacob Omega Bronze, LA Color in Berry Plump, Wet n Wild Golden Flower Cloud, MAC Night Mouth, L'Oreal Ambitious Red, Elf Makeup Mist and Set. And this is the finished look. Bye!